outside of Buena Vista, Colorado today. Um, just wanted to make a quick touch on some of the problems that you run into with a mining claim. Um, as you can see here, we have a mine. Um, can't really see too far in, but we're collapsed in back maybe 30 feet or so. Nothing that couldn't be dug out within, you know, probably a few hours and a couple of guys. But uh, one of the biggest problems you run into when the Forest Service or the BLM doesn't take you seriously with a mining claim is something exactly like this site we have here. So we have a mine that's obviously not being worked at all. There's no work being done on it. And then if you come around this direction, you can see that someone has, you know, they've pretty much made a, a camp out of this. They've made a recreational little area, which, do not get me wrong, it is a very cool little area and they've done a lot of work to it. But this doesn't speak to mining at all. And when the Forest Service and the BLM come up and they look at this, they say, well, you're obviously not mining. You're up here recreating, so there's no need to give you a mining claim, and you start to lose your rights. And that's one more way that we start to lose our rights with the mining because there's no legitimacy to the mining claim. Um, for this type of operation, very easy to do. All you need is a notice of intent saying that you're up here working and probably having the mine open and secure it up and doing some work. So. When you have a mining claim, keep in mind, as much as you enjoy where you're at, it is for mining. That is what it's for. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.